guys welcome back to my channel it is Monique and I am back with another video this is gonna be a get ready with me kind of little chit chat answer some questions that I've been getting lately and yeah do a little makeup so let me know what y'all think of this camera quality to get a new camera I think I told y'all I'm playing with the settings I don't really know what I want what I like yet um, looking at my computer here because I've got the monitor set up and yeah so without, without further ado let's get into it um i don't know when i'm gonna put this video up honestly i know the last video you guys have saw is a vlog a birthday vlog so we'll see <laughs> happy new year you guys um i hope that your year started off well you got great goals and that you get everything you want accomplished this year so let's get into it y'all so i did just do my hair so yeah where did I get this wig from? I forgot, y'all. I'm going to put the name on the screen. I honestly forgot where I got it from, but I love this hair. Oh, it's from Mega Look. Mega Look hair. The highlighted wig. I just have it in a clip right now, so it's not in my face. So, I'm using the Milk um, Hydro Grip Primer. I literally got this um, inspiration. Oh, why I bought it is from TikTok, y'all. I've been getting a lot of things because of TikTok. TikTok has been um, getting me buying stuff that I don't need, but this was a good buy because it works very well. I know there's a dupe for it. It's the e.l.f. Um, I think it's called a grip primer too, and it's like the same color too, but I heard that one's really good too. But I love this. Like It really makes your makeup stay on and not go anywhere. Next thing I'm using is this Glow Recipe um, Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I didn't mean to get this big one, y'all. This is the jumbo size. This is the only kind they had left in Sephora. So I got it. And I really like this a lot. I like, if y'all know me and my makeup looks that I do, I like the glowy, dewy look. I'm not really a matte person. I like the skin shiny look. And I'm sorry if I keep looking over to the side y'all looking at the monitor because I do not have my mirror. The setup I've got right now y'all, I don't know if this mirror can fit without blocking y'all. Um, let me see if I put some of these on the ground. I'm still gonna be looking to the side still a little bit. Kind of. How do I look here? Yeah, I'm still looking to the side. But I'm looking at a mirror, y'all, so don't be alarmed. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is my brows. I am the brow girl. I have to do the brows first. Like, you know, some people do their makeup in different order. They do all the face stuff first, and then they do the um, brows. But I'm the type of girl that i got to do my brows first. So I'm using this Anastasia... Um, brush brow brush i did recently just fix up my eyebrow a little bit y'all because i am done getting my eyebrows done not getting them done anymore because anytime i've gotten them done they messed them up it was not the shape that i was going for i literally just say to trim it up and i get a whole like no they thinned out my eyebrows and i don't like that I look like I had some spaghetti noodles on my eyebrows, or as eyebrows, so no. And as you can see, I don't even do too much. Like, it's really the ends that I'll be filling out, so I need the hair on the brows. But literally, that's it. Look at the brow. This one needs a little bit more help. Sorry about my voice, y'all. Like, I don't know why I'm getting a cold. Um, let's see a little bit. Mm, I don't know if I like this one. Hold on a minute. How does it look, y'all? I think it needs a little bit here. Well, eyebrows are not twins, they're sisters. These brows are definitely not twins. 
Okay, this um, is a dip brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Ebony. Oh, I didn't even look I used this, this color. And if I didn't use that, I'd be using this MAC pencil. I have this too. It's in Spiked. But I think we're good. Um, I usually would put a little brow gel. I didn't bring it in the room. I'm not about to go grab it. But I used the Morphe one. Or the Morph. Whatever y'all pronounce it. Okay, so we just did the base. We did the brows. I'm going to highlight just a little bit, y'all. I have not been highlighting my brows lately. And look at that. I forgot the brush for highlighting. Um... Yeah, let me go grab the brush to highlight my brows real quick, y'all. I feel like these do not look like brushes that you would um, highlight your brows with, but this is what works for me, y'all, so that's what I'm about to do. All right, so the concealers I've been using lately are the Too Faced concealers. I have Butterscotch and Maple. Butterscotch is the lighter one. I'm going to use Maple. It's more to my skin tone. I don't really do the highlighted brow look anymore y'all I know I used to do that a lot but it's not really my thing anymore yeah I used to use a lot of a lighter color than this but and I start at the end and then I go down a little bit and we just blend it down Excuse my couple of eyelash extensions that I have left on my eyes, y'all. I'm going to get them fixed up next week. Um, and then I'm just going over with the rest of it on the top. Nothing too serious, y'all. Nothing too serious. All right, we're good with that. What was I going to say now? So, the questions that I've been getting a lot, y'all, is nursing questions. If y'all follow me on TikTok, I post a lot of week in the life as a nurse. And I told you that I am going to be, or that I'm getting into child nursing. So, y'all have a lot of questions about that. I got a lot of questions of how did you become a nurse? What did you have to do? And all that. So, I'm going to get into how I became a nurse. I'm going to tell y'all the whole rundown. I do have a whole playlist of nursing school videos. Um, y'all can watch those. Because I went through my whole journey with y'all. But I'm going to recap it for y'all. I'm going to re recap it. So I'm about to put on my foundation. I'm using NARS, the light reflecting foundation. This is in the shade Macau. And I'm using my Fenty foundation brush to um, blend it. So, nursing school. Um, so college in general. I knew that I was going to school for nursing um, before I went to college. I knew that that's what I was going to school for. So... Um, I had to take, everybody has to take prereq prerequisites in college. It's like your basic courses. It's kind of like a re-high school, which I, yeah. But anyways, I did that. Um, did the prereqs, those were your basic math, English, science, history classes. Then you had your electives that you could choose. I believe I took like world religions. I had to take another kind of math class, took yoga, took kickboxing, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then when I got to nursing school now, we had to take some prereqs for that too. So I took chemistry one and two. I took statistics for math. I took another math class. I think I took two or three math classes. I might forget their names. Um, I took anatomy one and two and then I took microbiology I think those were all the science classes then I took English um, what else took a couple of IT classes and what else for nursing school it's basically this it's mainly the science and the um, math classes for nursing school um, and like whatever program you're trying to get into you would take classes that that school would accept and I ended up going to the nursing school that was at my college. So I took all the classes that they required. And thankfully, after being on a wait list for a couple months, I got into nursing school. So I did have like a six-month gap um, where I was looking for a job. 
before I got into nursing school. Um, I didn't get a job, y'all. I applied at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. I think I got. I did get an interview, but that was like those three pe three person interviews. Like three of y'all are interviewing with one person. I don't like that because first I didn't have any work experience other than I used to work at my mom's restaurant um, as a cashier. But like they asking me about experience and y'all gotta give me a chance. They didn't give me no chance, so. Didn't get a job going to college. I was doing YouTube. Thank God YouTube was doing it for me, y'all. Y'all was doing it for me, y'all. The support was too real, so I was able to do YouTube throughout nursing school, and that did what I needed to do. Um, so nursing school is a two-year program. I'm using Fenty, Matchstick, and Truffle. Um, nursing school is two years. For me, it took three years. So, my first semester, I failed one of my classes that um, was a clinical course. It was clinical and in class. And you had to pass both of them. You couldn't just pass one. So, if you failed one part, you had to um, retake it. So, I failed the class part and I had to retake it. So, that ended up making me um, six months late into graduation and then my I think it was my second semester I was struggling and I'm like let me not just keep struggling let me just drop the class and come back and retake it so that's why I graduated in three years rather than two years but that's fine y'all like, the race is not for the swift it's for those who endure it to the end and that's what I did by the grace of God so um that school was two was three years for me um we had clinicals I think my first semester was it was wellness, it was health assessment. Um, I forgot, y'all. <laughs> I forgot. But nursing school, y'all, is no joke. It's no joke. But if you want to be a nurse, then you can do it. You can. Um, going into nursing school, I had to take a TVS test, so that's like a, the entry test to go into um, nursing school. And then after that. The next big test you take is your NCLEX. So, I mean, yeah, that's how that's how I become a nurse. Came became a nurse. I had nursing school for three years. I pursued it. Grace of God, had great friends. And after I graduated nursing school, we got on to the NCLEX, y'all. In the NCLEX, honestly. Nursing school definitely does, it teaches you how to take a test, I would say. Like, I would definitely say they did prepare us for the NCLEX, but nursing, when you become a nurse, you learn to become a nurse when you're working. You, you learn to become a nurse when you're working in the field. I will say that. That's what I'll say on that. But I really do love nursing. Of course, it has its, you know, ups and downs, the short staffing the pay, the workload and all that. But I I love what I do though. I love what I do. But I'm not being compensated as a staff nurse. I'm sorry, but I'm not. And y'all know that I'm getting going I'm becoming a travel nurse as we speak. Um currently looking for contracts that I'm interested in and we'll be we'll be doing it, y'all. Um, I need to read one of the questions. I know I've got a question about something else, too. Real quick, yeah, I'm using this Sasha Buttercup, y'all. I used to use, let me show you I used to use, well, I, I started using that Laura, sorry, that Laura Mercier. I didn't conceal my eyes, y'all. I don't really care to. But I didn't use the, the I tried the Laura Mercier, y'all. But it looked too ashy. And then I went to a Fenty event, like that tailgate they had in Atlanta. And the makeup artist, like, because I'm trying to get a match for Fenty, because when I got matched before, it was way too light. And, you know, he said, wow, um, why, what did you put here? It just looks dry and white. I'm like, oh, 
Oh, that was Laura Mercier, y'all. And it was in the shade. It was in the honey shade. So, I don't know. But anyway, um, where was I going with that? I don't remember. Anyways, you see the bronze? It looks like blush, though. As I'm looking at my mirror here, but whatever. Anyway, let me look up. The, let me find a question real quick, y'all. I've been getting a lot of questions about people that are like, um, people that are about to graduate high school and want to go to nursing school and want to be a nurse. Um, so let's see. I hope she doesn't mind. I'm not gonna give her say her name or anything, but. She wants to, she was asking what are the steps to becoming an RN. She's going into college next year and wants to know, you know, things she should use, studying, books, websites, all that kind of stuff. Um, so the books, they're going to give you a list of books to get in nursing school. And if that is how you, if that's the best way for you is like just reading, then yeah I definitely get the book for me that was not it for me this is the Dior Rosie I can't even put this in the camera properly it is not even showing now anyway this is the Rosie one um they're gonna give you a list of books to get and I did get them my first semester I got I bought them bought the books but after that this is the Mac Happy Go Rosie. After that first or first semester, I stopped getting books because just reading alone was not helping me. For me, it was better to take the PowerPoints that we did in class and make like my own notes or retype it up in my own way and then study like that and then like use my study group and we would like just talk it out, talk out what do we know about this disease what do we know about that what do we not know what do we know about medications what are side effects stuff, stuff like that um and if we really didn't understand something then yeah go back into the book and read and see if that helps you um but for me just the book alone did not help that was not my studying strategy unfortunately but for some people it does work it does work for some people so really you have to find out what studying style works for you you may have to try a few to see um what you know what works videos definitely helped watching videos uh, I used to watch what was her name she was from it's a level level up RN yeah level up RN was really good especially for taking those ATI tests she like really broke it out broke it down to make it easier um, watching videos running out the notes Sarah RN very good I use that for NCLEX too, the go back over stuff that I was not, you know, the best thing that I knew. And then, um, who else? Yeah, those are mainly for that. I did do a video on NCLEX and what I did to study, so I'm not going to go over that. Just nursing school in general. Get a good study group. If you study well with people, do that. Um, what else? Websites, uh, YouTube, YouTube mainly what I use. And then I believe somebody asked about travel nursing as well. I can't give you too much on that right now because I'm not fully in there. But let me see. Um, oh, same. How long do you go to college for? And where do you travel? Travel nursing in general is you are traveling to places that are in need of nurses. Um... You can travel anywhere that you find a contract. You can local travel, which is traveling within your state, or you can travel outside any state um, or countries as well. Um, for me, currently, I'm local traveling. Um, I want to see how that is for me first before I venture out. Um, so, yeah, that's really how that goes. I don't know how, how else, else to explain it. Um, but it's definitely a great option if you've been a nurse for at least a year or two. That's pretty good to get into it. The uh, pay is wonderful. Benefits are, are great. Your flexibility. Um, I think there's just so many pros to being a travel nurse. So I am very grateful 
for the opportunity and can't wait for what it has in store for me. I have a lot of goals to accomplish and I feel like travel nursing would be a great um, way to help accomplish those goals. If I didn't mention to y'all, I am interested in starting my own business, high rehydration, something I'm very interested in. I'll use a little bit more of this. Um, I am currently trying to make my logo because y'all know I do graphic design as well. Speaking of graphic design, I am still a graphic designer, y'all. My website is still active, still getting, still taking requests. Um, but yeah, so I'm making my logo, figuring out my logo, and I'm um, figuring out the name. So when that's closer to where I want it to be, I will let y'all know for sure. Um, yeah, those are just some of the plans I got. What do y'all think of the look, the makeup look? I think it looks pretty nice on camera. I'm lining my lip. This is the Charlotte Tilbur Tilbury Lip Cheat. Um, it's in the color. It says Pillow Talk 3 Intense. I love this color. But y'all, I'm trying to revamp my Instagram as well. So if y'all see my Instagram, I deleted like all my pictures. No pictures. Because I'm revamping it. So make sure y'all follow me. It's Monique Reed XX. Camera is not focusing. But yeah, general post. I'm going to post a picture today. Even though it's going to be a picture that... No, I'm not even going to say. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to take some pictures today. And, um... Yeah, we're trying to revamp the IG, make it more creator looking. I'm trying to revamp everything, y'all. Even my my intro, the intro y'all see in this video may be a new one. I'm making a new intro as well. All right. Yep, it's cute. It's cute. So this is our look. Um, look at this eyelash, y'all. It's ridiculous. It looks like I have wispy eyelashes. Um, let me let the hair out. I did curl it. Oh, gee, am I getting this stuck? Okay, there we go. I did curl it. I was trying to do those waves that you all see, like the ones that. Look, close is getting in there. There. You know, like the ones y'all see that are like straight at the ends. It's like the beach curl. It's not giving right now. I need to brush this out. But let me spray my face with this. What is this? Anastasia Bev Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. Like I said, I like this. The um dewy look. It smells so good. This is fresh. That is it for this video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank y'all for watching another video of mine. Make sure y'all give me some video ideas in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.